Necro Sonnen! Today we're going to have a look at Starbound, uh, more of my first impressions of Starbound, the first little bit that I've played. Um, Starbound's from Chuckle Fish Games, it's 2D uh, first and foremost. It's a sandbox indie adventure survival crafting sort of sort of game. Uh, the shtick is it is space exploration, it's uh, procedurally generated worlds uh, that you can fly to pretty much any of them and land as far as I understand it. Um, just before we get started here, let's take a quick quick browse at the settings. It's always very important to do so. For me at least, it raised a lot of red flags if you're looking at settings and not seeing the things you should be. But Starbound, thankfully, seems to pass that little prerequisite test. Alright, let's take a look at uh, starting a new game in this character creator here. Uh, it's cute. You pick from a few different, you know, seven different species and select gender and customize it little bits here and there. The cool little thing is that once you change your species, um, it actually changes the names of some of the attributes. Little things like that. It's kind of cute. Uh, of course, it's got the dice roll, the randomizer, which is very helpful if you're just trying to get something and get started. The game has three difficulty settings. We got hardcore for the crazy people. Uh, we have survival, which is a normal mode as far as I understand. And we have casual for the people that just like to keep everything casual, including their entertainment. I don't I don't understand how you play in casual mode. How do you enjoy yourself? It's too easy. The game starts off by this, uh, whoever this is, this yellow cheese man yelling at you to wake up because you've overslept because apparently... No matter how far in the future you go, you could still be a lazy piece of crap. My immediate thought was to go back to sleep in a fit of existential dread, but that didn't work out too well. Then I figured I'd take a crap to relieve the stress, but I uh, forgot to close the door, so you know, anxiety really gets to you sometimes. Well, it's about time to get dressed. That guy won't piss off. He keeps hanging around my locker. Uh, this inventory system is very simple, very well built. I like the way it works. Um, you can move everything exactly where you want it to, split it up the way you want to. Actually, by right-clicking, you can split up multiple quantity items. Uh, probably not for those pixels, but anything else has multiple quantities. Um, you can differentiate between what you're wearing as being cosmetic or your actual, uh, the stats. So, it's kind of a cool feature. I'm not sure if I'm 100% on board with it, but, uh, yeah, you can make things cosmetic if you want to. Right, so let's talk to this guy since he won't leave us alone. Uh, setting up the story here is uh, we're late to a graduation ceremony. That's what we're on our way to. Uh, we're on board to get a matter manipulator and we're going to be dubbed a protector. Uh, and then people continue to bother you about being late. Boy, I'm thirsty. Let's check the vending machine. 20 pixels for a soda. That's all I got to my name. Pixels is the currency of this game, by the way, which is pretty cute. Ah, would you quit your crying already? Jesus Christ. Almost there. Yes, yeah, shut up. People keep bothering us about being late. Uh, so we're on our way up to this graduation ceremony, and uh, that's when things are going to take a turn. I don't want to spoil anything for you here, so I'm going to censor this accordingly. So the lady presents us with our man manipulator and then bad things happen. I'm not going to show them to you, I'm just going to play the audio. Just to be clear, those are not screams of joy. People are in fact dying in agony. Right, so uh, drama ensued. We picked up a few other things on the way, which you can tell by the giant sword I'm now holding. And uh, it's time to get in our ship and uh, get off this planet. And, uh, yeah, that's it. We just kind of leave everyone behind and go, Screw you, I never liked you anyways. So do a few other people. Except that guy, he died. Da -da -da -da, Starbound. This is when the game actually starts. Hooray! 
Right, so we start off in a procedurally generated ship. It's completely different for every person. So is the pet. I'm just lucky enough to have a cat. Uh, the reboot sequence, not procedurally generated. It's part of the storyline. Basically, our ship is in complete shambles. It's just a pile of crap right now. It's a dumpster fire in space. Uh, so our first quest is basically to warp down to the planet and find some good stuff. Wow. So that's what it feels like to be Michael Jordan in Space Jam. Right, so as a first real test of our matter manipulator, it's pretty impressive, uh, this little tool. It really does allow you to manipulate anything you want inside the world. So you can pretty much dig and... Uh, place anything you want to in this situation I needed to place some blocks to get myself the hell out of this damn hole and then there's these things which I don't really know what they are but this one poisoned me dick right so let's take a quick look at the menus here we got quests which is just a classic quest log first one being we need to find stuff to get uh, out of orbit and we have inventory which you've already seen uh, also I'm seeing some stats here health uh, Stamina, attack, and defense? Not really sure how those will come into play just yet, but I'm assuming we'll have some RGB sort of elements. R RBG? RGB. RPG. EBGBs. Whatever I'm trying to say, I don't know. Next, we got crafting, which is... Crafting. Got it. After that, we have codex, which is stuff and things, which I don't have any yet. Also, I'm starting to see a lot of nods to other games here. Codex being sort of Pokemon sort of thing. Uh, after that, we got Matter Manipulator, which we can upgrade with those Manipulator modules, which I have one of at this point. Those look pretty valuable to upgrade, though. I'd probably go with increasing the, uh, the area of effect. That's just me, though. And the last thing is the old Beam Me Up Scotty button. That just takes you back to your ship in orbit. There's this lady telling me to do things. Am I going to listen to her? Probably. Now, like I said, the matter manipulator allows you to manipulate anything on the map, as far as I can tell. So, there's a lot of caves and stuff like this, but uh, you can pretty much just dig yourself a new hole if you want to. Some creatures are bad and will attack you. Other creatures, not so bad and just kind of hang out. I don't really know the rhyme or reason for that yet, but, uh, hey, I'll take it. Apart from the creatures being complete jerks sometimes, there is the massive... Massive fall damage, which I demonstrate here, nearly killing myself, and then not knowing how to operate the stairs, I run right into that thing, and my body splats all over the place. So when you die, you do respawn. Uh, you can see here, 30% 30 pix 30 of pixels lost. What a ripoff. But yeah, you go back to your ship, your cat's there, he's like, hey, what's up, man? And then you could just teleport yourself back down to the planet as you care to. All right, so good old fashioned corpse run. Beat the piss out of this guy, because why not? And then uh, get the stuff back, and we're back on our way. A pro tip is that you can sleep wherever you want to and manage your inventory while you regain your health and stamina. Yeah, well, I'm having a nice dig. Take a look at this guy. Uh, yeah, not going to go that way. Look at this. This one. Apparently, also a dick. Drops bombs everywhere. Jesus Christ. Further demonstration that the matter manipulator can manipulate anything, even cloud trees that turn into cocaine dust or whatever that's supposed to be. I don't know, but uh, you get lumber out of it, so I'll take it. I happen to cross a few of these structures on my journey around this planet here. Doesn't seem to be anyone home or any restrictions or anything that's saying, hey, don't come in here. Uh, so I think there's a strong inkling for this game to basically set you up with your own base. And pretty much just build it wherever and however you want. So, uh, it took some creative freedoms in how this house should be shaped. I hope the uh, owner doesn't mind. This game does have a hunger mechanic, but it's very easy to satisfy just by eating your favorite can of beans or whatever you have in your backpack at the time. Uh, if you're playing casual, like I said before, that's not part of the game. You wimps. So when you're building, you can left click to... Oh, yeah, the, uh, the builder tool I find is a little bit finicky at times. But anyways, left click puts objects in the foreground, i.e. their uh, collision data. Now, if you right click while you're building, that puts things in the background. It's just a nice aesthetic look to your house that uh, is kind of structurally unsound, but still beautiful. So, you know, that's all that matters. 
The day-night cycle in this game is absolutely beautiful. So uh, let's pop a squat here in our in our house that we don't know who owns it and hope we uh, landed somewhere in California. Uh, just live here rent-free forever because liberals. That's Starbound. If you like this video, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a series on this game very soon.